What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm about to ship out some items I've sold on eBay. After that I'm going to go thrifting and look for some more items I can sell and ship on eBay. First item, I pulled this out of my death pile. I bought this years ago. It just ended up in a tote. Since I'm a heavy Amazon seller, especially back then, I was just picking up things I could make money on with eBay and, you know, never doing anything with them because I was just focused on Amazon so much. But I paid $2.99 for it and I listed it and it sold pretty quick, about four or five days. Sold it for $30 plus shipping and it's an international order. Here's a Cobalt Ratchet set. Picked this up at Lowe's, somewhere between $5 and $10. It was about 90% off, if I remember correctly. I bought six or seven of them. Uh, I've sold a few. I sold them for $30 plus shipping for a total of $48.57. Here's a bread maker paddle I sold, just the part, and I sold it for $20. Probably have a dollar or less into it. I bought a bunch of engine and car and boat stickers and decals. It was in a bag at Goodwill been selling those over the years and here's two Volvo Power stickers I sold and I sold them for $13.50. Anytime I ship anything like the stickers or a card or a booklet, anything that can bend, I always put it in between cardboard and then I put the shrink wrap around it. I don't put tape because sometimes it'll slide around and it'll stick to the side of the tape here where there's a gap and that can ruin it, especially if it's something valuable. So that's how I ship those. Here's another death pile item, one of these 30 pin Apple connectors. I don't remember where I got these, but I got them years ago and I was selling them on Amazon back when it wasn't hard to sell anything on Amazon. I remember these selling for 40 or $50 a piece. Uh, this one's an Amazon return, an open box, everything looks fine inside. Uh, I just went ahead and listed it on eBay. They're selling for about 14 bucks, open box. I paid 50 cents for this at a church thrift store and it is a pure filter it sold for 15 bucks i picked up this bat at a church rummage sale i'm pretty sure this is the one i picked up for a dollar is all i paid for it and i ended up selling it for 30 dollars plus shipping I picked up these blaster boards at a Goodwill. I paid $3.99 a piece for them. There's something that you use. They're plastic pieces. You can build forts for nerf battles and stuff like that, I guess. They were open box, but complete. And I sold both of these together for $55 plus shipping for a total of $77. Here is a new wave I picked up at a thrift store for $15. I was going to sell this for about $80 or $90, but when I inspected it a bit more, it was missing the pizza board cutter. This one includes a pizza kit. Otherwise, it's complete and unused. So I marked it down a little bit, sold it for $69.99 plus shipping. So first I am hitting up Goodwill, looking at the plush, looking at the toys. See this Candyland game and I notice it's looking old. Looking like an older one. I see it's from the 80s and I decided to take a better look at it because some of these older Candylands are kind of like bolos. They're worth more than you would expect. So up here I see Advanced Boardwalk. I don't remember a whole lot about this game. I've seen it before out in the wild, but uh, I did check it. It wasn't worth picking up, but what I really want is this. Littlest Pet Shop board game, vintage 1993. And I thought, wow, this is looking like it's in very clean condition. Also, it has some of the Littlest Pet Shop figures in there. I figured <laughs> that was going to be quite a bit of money. It wasn't worth as much as I was hoping, though. I still bought it. We got a Scategories game, $2.99. Uh, I don't re recall ever seeing that box. I think it's a newer edition. Looked it up, just not worth picking up and a lot of loose toys to look at dolls houses and i just love looking through the toys i know a lot of you like me to record the footage and the toys there's so much to look at there's so much for me to miss um that someone else may know something about we got a game up there you may recognize that one i actually returned it to goodwill the dragon game was missing a lot of pieces turns out there is a connect set i'm checking to see if it's sealed it is not I uh, ended up checking it out anyway, just to make sure it wasn't valuable. It was not, just like a lot of connects, really not worth picking up, especially after they're open. So, 
got a little pile here. I had to go get a cart and I got my power legs in there. That little massager, electronic like foot massager type thing. It turns out to be worth quite a bit of money, $12.99. See this water pick, water flosser, 20 bucks. Yeah, I think it was selling for like 30 new on Amazon. Wasn't worth picking up. I don't like buying those things anyway. Uh, especially if they look like they've been opened at all because that's kind of gross. So little ice maker down there, rival ice maker vintage. I checked that out. Wasn't worth picking up. Up here, I spot this lamp. <laughs> this is kind of interesting because I picked up a hurricane style lamp like this. Well, just the base at this Goodwill is missing the shade. And I still haven't checked. I me meant to check to see if that shade would fit the one I bought with it was missing the shade. I put it back up there, but I do end up buying it. It's not like a name brand like the the other one I bought recently. So uh, yeah, I picked it up anyway. Got some more small appliances here. Nothing that ended up panning out worth money or looked like it was complete enough for me to want to deal with. And I did find some of these Red Wing boots, but they were just far too gone. I ended up putting those back. A tennis racket. I got a Mario Kart remote I picked up. I just sold that actually for, I think it was 18 bucks. Looking at the shoes, trying to find anything else good. It's a shame those Red Wings were just in such bad shape. The whole bottom sole was just like filed off. So yeah, I ended up getting quite a bit of stuff at this Goodwill. Uh, there's even uh, some underwear in there, but I ended up putting those back. Uh, I guess they're like Walmart brand or something. Just wasn't worth picking up. Get over to Salvation Army. We got some Gore-Tex Justin boots. Uh, only $7.99, so I grabbed those. Go over here and look at the clothing because they just put out a men's clothing rack. I didn't want to miss anything good, but eh, nothing really in the clothing. So glad to get those boots, though. I think they're going to be a great seller. Uh, a little dirty, but I cleaned them up very nicely. So I head over and start looking at the appliances and the lamps. See if we can find anything else at Salvation Army. Got this little blender, not worth, or chopper, not worth anything, but up here is something. $7.99 for this sealed Vitamix dry grain mixing bowl. <laughs> so I just sold literally like a day before then uh, a Vitamix mixer. I got like $150 for it. So to find another Vitamix thing that quick, new sealed is oh, it's kind of crazy especially since i never never find vitamix uh just to find it that close together but i'll happily take that that's going to be a big money maker curling iron worth anything con air eh. some brands are most of them are cheap uh salvation army also had 75 percent off christmas going on and i did end up picking up a christmas item here as well goodwill had Christmas 50% off for a week then they set it back to full price after a week it's just crazy why Goodwill would do that especially when every other store is marking it down 75 90% off right now they put theirs back to full price it's so crazy to me so you got this Rolodex brand new seal I just sold that recently as well I think I sold it for $23 put it in the cart there you see it well kind of it was <laughs> off camera but I put it in the cart and I've sold it You'll see it in the hall along with everything else I picked up today, um, including stuff you didn't see in this preview footage. So always watch till the end because I don't show everything, you know, in this kind of store footage here. Here is a Wilton cake pan, like one of these 3D molds, $2.99. Some of this Wilton cake pan stuff, great money. Some of it, absolute trash. <laughs> this was absolute trash. I think it was only selling for like $5 on eBay. So very low. I ended up putting it back, of course. Looking in these, I call it the wooden aisle because most of the stuff's wood. You got wood baskets. You got these shelves. Uh, usually you have knife blocks and stuff like that. Always got to walk down these aisles because sometimes things get put in these aisles. Electronics. I found handheld games before in this aisle. Uh, but we're also looking for maybe some old articulating toys, wooden toys, stuff like that. Maybe a nice candlestick. That one wasn't, but you never know. So yeah, I like to come down every aisle in every thrift store, kind of take my time. Like the aisles, like the toy aisle, the electronics aisle. I usually do two or three passes through those. 
uh, just because I don't want to miss anything. There's something like a diehard battery charger. So yeah, what's that doing there? <laughs> Could have been a, a, a Sega Game Gear in there. I don't know. You never know. Just got to keep looking. It's all about the hunt. Um, some days you're not going to find anything. Other days you're just going to find something amazing in an aisle. You would not, not expect to find it. So what makes it fun? So got a couple in caps I'm looking at. Just a bunch of figurines. Stuff like that. Same deal. Just looking for unique stuff. Anything I recognize is rare. Uh, anything I think I can make some money on to do further research. But there's a guy that comes in here every morning that looks through this stuff. That buys a lot of it. So uh, he's probably got a better eye for it than what I do. Here at this Goodwill, we're doing it again. Just looking through making sure we don't miss anything. If I see anything unfamiliar, you know, pay more attention to it. Here's a car wash scrubber, Mr. Scrubber. What is it, scrubbing bubbles guy? I don't even remember what he's called. Anyway, you can buy some of those cleaners, not the car one, uh, like this, the scum buster or something like that. It's kind of a bolo, it's went down in value, I think, over the years. It's been so long since I've found one. But what is this back here? A little DVD player, it looks like. Not worth picking up. So I didn't really find much here. There's some hearing aid batteries, which I actually got at another thrift store that day. Um, those were $1.99. I passed on them. The ones I got at the thrift store were a quarter for like 10 packages. So big difference when the price is a quarter and $2 a piece for batteries. Um, is a difference between profit and no profit. So... Yeah, not much at this Goodwill, but I'm going to take you home and I'm going to show you everything I picked up. I have some great stuff here to go over. Let's start in the back. I have this tennis racket I paid $3.99 for at Goodwill. It's like brand new in there. I forget the model. I'm not even going to take it out. Uh, decent brand to look out for. And it looked like it's still selling between $50 to $75. So it's a nice pickup. Right below, it's an even better pickup. A Salvation Army is $7.99. Got a half off. I'm not sure why. That wasn't the color. He just charged me $4 for it. It is a new sealed Vitamix dry grains container. <laughs> Vitamix is a great name and it's crazy how this stuff works. It always turns out like this. I never find Vitamix stuff. This past month now I found a mixer and this. I already sold the mixer for $150. Bucks. I got this right here. It will sell for $120 new like this. Probably do about $100 plus shipping actually is what I'll price this at. So love picking up this kind of stuff. Right next to it, I picked up this Sleeping Santa. Some of this Sleeping Santa stuff. Pretty good. It has a good sell through rate if you look. There's about 500 and some listings for Sleeping Santas. And 500 and some sales. So this stuff does move. Certain ones move better. Vintage, obviously. This one is in very good condition. Almost like new. I expect to sell it for like $20, $25 plus shipping. And I think it will move. Here's another thing I picked up recently. One of these parlor lamp, hurricane lamps. Also, it was what they're known as. I picked up one at Goodwill. It was $4.99. It did not have the shade. It was l, &L WMC, which is an okay brand. This one's unbranded. It is older. It's in great condition. It has the shade. Three-way lamp. It has, you know, the print on there as well. Honestly, I don't know what this would even sell for. Not having a name. Some people just want the style. They don't care. You know, with the shade, that's the part that always gets broken. In this condition, I'm going to try $50 plus shipping. I also picked up this Corning Show It All vintage container. It is new in there. Uh, not worth a whole lot. $2.99 is what I paid for. It doesn't really look like they're selling, but... I have the only one it looks like on eBay that's going to have the actual container and it be new. If nothing else, I'll just, you know, use it myself. I can use it. So I picked it up. Here's a foot massager. I was kind of surprised on the value of that. Usually you see a Homedics brand. This one, I thought, eh, is it an off brand or is it a high end brand? And I'm going to drop it here and break it. But you can see here it's called Power Legs. So I looked up the brand and I said, hey, that's pretty good. Looked up the model and they're selling great on eBay. Great sale through rate. Probably price this about $100 plus shipping. It has power supply remote paperwork. It's very clean. Did I mention I paid $12.99 for it? Let's go over these shoe pickups. Shoe and boot, uh, some nice things here. I got these red Vans. I thought, you know what, I'll buy these for myself. They're my size, uh, they're clean. I'm pretty sure they're like new without tags. I get them home and I'm thinking, you know what, I got like four pairs of red Van shoes I bought like this. They're sitting in the closet. Do I really need to keep these? I can probably sell these 
for $30 plus shipping at least. Same with these New Balance shoes, uh, all terrain, they do pretty well. They got some like dust and kind of light dirt on there. I'll clean them up. These are selling great, uh, pre-owned at around $30 plus shipping. And then I picked up these Justin boots. I think I paid $7.99 for them. Gore-Tex, I've mentioned many times, always look for a Gore-Tex. It usually means they're worth picking up. Justin Boots is a pretty good name. Now these have some wear on them. You can see here on the leather, but the Doc Martens leather restore that I use usually cleans this stuff up. I didn't notice the, the dark spot there, but that kind of stuff too, you can use, use leather cleaner and clean it up. I just recently done some Nike shoes that had some leather like this that had damage, uh, restored them perfectly. So I'll be able to fix these up very nicely. It just depends how nice is how much I'll get it looks like. Uh, some of these boots were selling for $50, $75. I paid $7.99, so it's going to be some good profit either way. I'll pop it up on the screen how much I expect to make on my shoes and boots. We got some smaller loose items here. I got this Rolodex. It's not an old one. It looks like it maybe came from Ikea possibly. I looked it up though. It's selling for about $20. Uh, it's brand new, so we didn't grab that. At the thrift store, uh, everything was half off today, so I got this for a dollar. This is brand new. These are selling for, I think it was 30-ish on Amazon, about 25-ish on eBay. Uh, I got this Singer sewing machine, Monogrammer, 50 cents is what I paid for it. They're not great movers, but it's like new in there and it was 50 cents. I think I'll sell it for like 20 bucks, right? Is what I usually sell those for. Uh, if I pick them up at a yard sale or something cheap, I grab them. Got this sealed My Little Pony at Goodwill. Uh, what I pay for this? $2.99, uh, this was actually kind of rare. It was selling on eBay, it looked like between $25 and $45. Should make some profit on that. Sonicare Phillips toothbrush heads, I paid $2.99 for these. I think they were selling for around $20 on eBay. Got some of these hearing aid batteries, 25 cents for all of them you see there. There's also a box with like six packs in there. I think they'll sell between $15 and $20, only paying a quarter. I'm just going to lot them together and sell them. I should make, you know, at least $10 profit on those. They haven't expired yet. I think they expire in 2023. Picked up this Mario Kart uh, remote. It goes to a, like, remote control Mario Kart car. They had the cart there, but it had some flaws, and they had it priced separately. Uh, they had the remote priced separately, so I just picked up the remote. I said, why not? These things... It'll sell for like $15, you know, make a little bit of money on it. Uh, this is something I grabbed at Salvation Army, paid $5 for it. It is a Star Trek phaser from the newer movie. As you can see there, it's got some weird box damage. But I looked it up and one sold pre-owned, I think, for $20 plus shipping. There wasn't any more on eBay, so I figure I, I at least get $20 plus shipping. Might as well grab it. I also grabbed this hat. It was like what 12 cents because they're normally a quarter and it was half off it's a k products made in the usa hat you know john deere stuff like this certain hats made by k products can be very valuable this is nothing exciting i don't even know if it would sell to be honest it's something i'd probably price like 12 dollars plus shipping or maybe just like 15 dollars free shipping again i just bought it because it was 12 cents so for all this stuff on the screen i'll just pop a total of what i expect to make on it all and I got some very interesting game pickups. This 1984 Candyland, the vintage Candylands, the older ones actually do fairly well. This one has a little bit of box damage. The pieces look pretty good. I don't know if it's complete yet, but if it is complete, I should be able to sell this between $50 and $75 on eBay. I recently learned about these older Candyland games being worth something when I passed one up at a yard sale. You know, you see Candyland and you just think, it's probably not worth much. Even, you know, the 80s and 90s ones. Someone pointed it out to me that they actually do well. So, you know, that information ended up about a year later landing me this one. I should make some good profit on that. I thought this was going to be a killer item. This is in very good condition. 1993, Littlest Pet Shop set. Since it comes with the pets here i know that some of that stuff the older stuff is very collectible i've sold certain sets from newer board games of these kind of pets and i've gotten quite a bit of money for them i'm surprised the older set didn't look like it was doing that well still though in this condition um i think i can price this maybe 40 dollars and get a sale 30 dollars at the least i paid 2.99 for it as you can see there i also picked up this gravity maze game this has a rank of seven 
on Amazon, which is extremely good. Pre-owned, you can mark these down a dollar from the new price and they'll still sell very quickly. I've sold a few in the past, not a whole lot of money. Um, I just decided to, to grab it, probably make what, around 10, 10 to $12, I would imagine on it. But there it is, everybody. That is the haul for today. Some quality pickups, love the Vitamix. The massager turned out to be a pretty chunky haul. But don't forget, before you leave, hit that like button for me. Ring the bell, be subscribed. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.